hello youtube welcome to a brand new video my name is abuzi on today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can color grade your portrait images inside of camera Raw. so without any further ado let's jump right into the video so if you're wondering what this is this is adobe bridge is basically for you to preview rotate and do a lot of things with it but for this tutorial we are just using it to preview our images then we select the one that we are going to use for this tutorial so before we select let's first rotate our images and then let's take a look at the images that we are having i think it's better if we use an image that has uh greens on the backgrounds so that we can have uh different colors to work around with so let's use this image let's right click and then we open it then we select adobe photoshop So to color grade this image or anytime before I start editing my images, I have to make sure my image is set to 16 bit and then my color space is at Adobe RGB 1998. So to do that, you just have to come over here and click and then you make sure you are on 16 bit and then your color space is set to Adobe RGB 1998 and then you hit OK. But good thing about it, uh, but the good thing about this is if you set it once whenever you come to photoshop it will just remain on the settings that you make so there is no need to always set this whenever you want to edit your image so after you set that then you will go to our basic correction so here i always say whenever you are taking your images take your time and snap the best image possible so that you won't spend time on photoshop fixing unnecessary mistakes so take your time while taking your images and take the image as best as possible as you can so that you won't yeah, you won't spend time fixing unnecessary mistakes so here i am the very first thing that i usually do is i just make basic correction on my exposure maybe by taking down my highlights as you can see if we are taking down our highlight we are bringing back details here then after we take down our highlights the next thing we are going to do is um maybe if it is a bit dark then we take off our shadows a little i think this is okay so moving down to our color grading so let's go to our color mixer so something you need to understand on that color mixer is this you are having hue saturation and luminance so if you are selecting hue, you see only the hue sliders. If you are selecting saturation, then you are seeing saturation, saturation sliders. And, the, and then if you are selecting luminance, you are only seeing luminance sliders. But if you select all, everything will be visible for you at the same time. So what I usually do is I would just go to my saturation and then I take a look at my image. What and what colors am I seeing inside my image? then i start increasing the colors so for this image maybe you are seeing green then we increase the level of saturation of green and then here her head tie is magenta then we increase the level of magenta so it, def it depends on the image you are working with and then here this leaves on her cloth i think it's the aquas then we increase the level a little bit as well and then uh maybe let's try the reds yeah it control the head tie not necessarily everything we adjust here we are done with it maybe in future when we are adjusting we may decide to come and change any of this adjustment we have made so everything we are doing is just trial and error if we try it work we leave it if we try it work later we decide we don't want it anymore then we come back and adjust it again so after we increase our saturation i think these are the only colors we are having here then we'll move to our hue hue what hue does is it change a particular uh, a particular color from it uh, from its color to another different color so let's say for example we want to change the color of the of the green for example if so if we move our hue notice the color of the greens are changing and then 
if we are moving the head tie as well does the magenta notice the color of the magenta uh, the color of the head tie is changing so basically that's how he works so for this image i think let's try changing the head tie and see well, it's not working for us so let's leave it as zero and then let's take a look at the greens I think there's no need for that as well and then the magenta does the head tie okay this is nice so where I'm changing the color of the head tie is this here the color is not that kind harmonizing with the rest of the colors maybe the color of the uh, of the of the three the skin and then this color that you are seeing on her clothes so i'm moving the color of the head tie so that it can harmonize with the rest of the color so that it won't stand for itself so let's push it a little bit and see all right i think this is better and then let's go to luminance and see what we have so luminance basically what it did is well, what it does to color is this it increase the brightness or darkness of a particular which you choose so let's say for example this screens behind her we want it to look even more darker then we darken it up and then if you want to brighten it up then we brighten up so that's basically how luminance works so color taking a look at the head tie if you want to increase the lightness of the head tie then we can just bright it up a little more i think this is okay and then like i say if we feel something is not okay we can go back and change it then let's go back to our hue and see let's take the hue of the reds i think i like this even more let's do before after before and after like this kind of harmonize even better and then uh taking a look at the greens let's desaturate the greens and see how it will look like since we are just trying i think this is more flattering let's do before after before and after i think i prefer the the greens looking a bit dull compared to before that they are like kind of shouting a little too much and then the next thing we can do to our colors is we can check on our calibration so what calibration does it cal calibrate just your primary colors that's your reds greens and blues so since we are having greens let's try and calibrate the green and see but you have to always be careful while adjusting your colors because there are some sliders that if you move they tend to, they tend to temper with the color of your skin so whatever you would do just always put your skin color into consideration don't move a slider to the extent where it ruins your skin color so as you can see if i move the calibration uh, uh, take a look out how it changed my skin color so let's just push it a little bit too positive as you can see let's do before sorry let's reset it first so let's move it to around positive 33 let's do before after before and after i like this this is nice and then you carry increase the intensity of the saturation I think positive 9 is good and then the next thing we are going to check is uh, let's check on the on the color of the skin by maybe increasing the brightness of the skin color so we know the yellows and orange are what control the color of our skin so we can just increase our luminance since luminance increase the brightness and then the darkness of a color then we can just push up our orange a bit more 
let me push it up all the way so that you can see the effect as you can see so we don't want it that much maybe just plus 10 is okay so let me leave it as positive 11 before and and after i think this is okay for me and then uh something that i always like to do is i always like to have this level of vignetting on my image whereby uh the sides of the image look a bit darker compared to the where her face is so that we will have more concentration on the face when whenever someone look at our image so we just come here and click this very icon so if you drag take and then come into this slider you can uh, adjust the level of the brightness by increasing or reducing the exposure as you can see and then every slider here will affect the area where the vignetting is touching so let's say for example i uh increase my highlights notice is it only affect the area of the vignetting or let's say i reduce uh my saturation notice the area of this uh, of the vignetting uh are desaturated so we don't want that let's do control z we only want the level of uh darkness around around the edges as you can see i think we are good so let's take a look at before and after of our image sorry i think here it is so this is where our image was and then this is where currently our image is as you can see this is the before and then this is the after let's toggle again this is our before this is our after as you can see we have not made a drastic change just a slight change that totally take our image to the next level and something the, and this is something that i always advise people is don't do too much whatever you do don't take your image far away from natural uh, from natural level just do a little and keep your image classy and then the last thing that i i uh wanted to show you guys is this let me remove the before and after sorry about my phone sorry sometimes all right uh if you come to here your color grading what your color grading does is you like kind of add some color into either your highlights your shadows or your mission so what i only does here, here is i just move my shadows to maybe somewhere around the blues as you can see let's do before after let me increase it a bit more so that you can clearly see the effect as you can see before after before and after so this is where you like kind of create a kind of color tune to your image and create this kind of color feel and have like uh outstanding style of color grading to your images let me remove to around the reds so that you can see this is also nice let's move it back to the blues i think i prefer the blue fill compared to the reds as you can see so let's also take another before and after this is our before and then this is our after as you can see so basically that's it on how to color grade how i simply color grade my images inside of camera if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like share and leave a thumbs up as it makes a huge difference in supporting the channel let's see in another video